Hey YouTube, today we're going to quickly um, update the Kess keys. So every every 90 days, um, you have to keep track of this yourself, but every 90 days you need to update your Kess key and your um, your, Kess, your Kess keys, uh, it'll generate two of them. One goes on your, you know, one goes on your air gap and one goes on your block producer. And with what, and, and in doing so, you're also going to be updating your node.cert. Okay, so let's do it. Um, I've already done it, so I wouldn't have to show you my IP and, and uh, have any delays, but it's pretty simple. I'm going to walk you through it. All right, for, so we're going to start. Um, you start with your login to your block producer, and you're going to go to your CD node home, and you're going to get essentially you're, you 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 want to output this value right here okay two uh, so for me uh, the period was 213 now you need to just remember that cuz you're going to need to have that on your air gap machine okay so we're just going to remember that 213 for me and it's going to be different for you okay then uh you're going to just copy copy this one and you're going to run it and this is going to produce um, a new key pair, a new KES key pair, a, a V key and an S key. Okay, the V key, you're going to send that to your old environment. FTP off your off your block node to your workstation, put it on a USB, the USB over to your air gap machine, upload it, put it in your cold keys folder. Uh, I, you know, you might have a little bit different um, file structure. Um, I, I have a little different myself, but it's no big deal. So this section, um, if, if you've copied their previous one, uh, they have a couple lines here and it, they explain it here. If you're using it, then, then, uh, this, uh, locks this folder and this one unlocks. So if you're already using this, you, you do need to do this step and they, they have it, they have it in here already, but okay. So I'm just going to grab this part. Okay, I'm going to grab this part. Um, my folder structure was a little different, but whatever. Just essentially, wherever all you want to run this command from the folder that has all your node S key, your KES V key, your node counter. And um, from here, we're going to output a new node.cert. So just go to a, any type of file. Um, uh, whatever. I don't need to recover. Okay, I guess we're recovering anyways. All right, delete this. Last tutorial. Okay, so right here, I need to change that to 213. Okay, and this, this, we're now we're on our air gap machine. Okay, make sure you understand that we're on the air gap machine. We've transferred over the new CAS V key. It's in the cold keys folder. Okay. And now we're going to run this command. This, this here just changes the file directory. So we're going to essentially, we're going to run this command. So I've copied it over here, but you need to change the cast period right here. This start period, you need to change it to the number that you got. Okay. So I copy paste this and uh, whatever, just going to close it. Don't save, uh, go away. Um, so. Uh, for me, the, the start cast period was 213, but for you, it's going to be different. Then on your air gap machine, you're going to execute that command. Then you're going to copy the new node cert back to the block producer. So USB, take the USB over to your workstation, FTP, drop it in your Cardano My Node folder, and then you're just going to restart your, your node. That is it. And then maybe write down on your calendar um that in 90 days you need to update your your cast so i did mine right now and today is april 24 424 so i got to figure out when my 90 days is may june july so probably like july 22 or 21 or something for me all right uh leave me a comment leave me a like smash the like button uh let me know if there's uh, a tutorial you're needing sooner than later uh, my next tutorial is I'm going to retire a stake pool. I'm going to retire. I have two stake pools right now. Uh, one was kind of a test, test, uh, test server. 
Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to retire it. And um, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.